Hi guys, the video you all have been waited for, we compare the Equate White with the Aqua Control Plus White, both from x Pad. Let's go guys! <music> So as I said before, we compared these two pads today. Both pads came in the size 50 by 50. I ordered them in this size because I really enjoy the size. Uh, I was real. I realized that, for example, 60 by 60 for is too big to play with a mini keyboard because your keyboard will lay on the on the mouse pad then. But 50 by 50, in my opinion, is the ideal mouse pad size for XL for not a desk mat to fit everywhere. Both are three millimeter thick. Both are made with the same polyester fabric, Amundsen style. That's the type how it's woven. And then both have the back rubber backside. I've shoes them both in white, and both coming with the with the old stitching with the rough uh, with the um, big style stitching, which they change right now on X-ray pad. You, for example, you can order the Aqua Control in black already with a smaller or with a more tight stitching on the edges, but it costs you one US dollar more as much as I know. That's what they have um, in... That's, that's the uh, facts, they both have the same. But one thing they don't have, uh, or which is not equal on both, is the type of how you can play them. One problem on the Aqua... Uh, the Aqua Control is super hyped, guys. I know a lot of you out there love Aqua Control, and I saw the feedback and the clicks on my Aqua Control comparison video black to white. At first, let's say this way: the white Aqua Control is the best Aqua Control out of all, out of the um, coated, and compared to the non-coated black and white, the white one is the best because it's like it feels the soft, and because of the softness, it gives you the the, the best feeling, in my opinion. The coated ones and the black ones are just too rough for me, uh, to be honest, even if I played with a super light or if I played with a Zaunkönig, which is only 24 gram. Um, it's like that the softness of the white one makes the Aqua Control Plus white to the best Aqua Control pad out there. In general, for people who enjoy these, um, I can say the, the, more, the more speed, the, the better glide. Um, one thing which was disappointing for me in the Aqua Control at the end, which I realized after uh, some days of playing, is that uh, like the, the the loose stopping point. One problem here is that um, it feels like soapy for me or glitchy when I try to stop them always on the same point. Sometimes it just slips over. I think that's cause um, when I watch those two pads, they're just basically the same. They're, they nearly feel the same. You, but if you see the both pads, you realize that the Amundsen, the fabric here, is tighter weaving. So there's more polyester on one square centimeter than on the Aqua Control Plus. Which let me come to a point, or which was the point where I was thinking about this, why they have uh, different dynamics and what's the problem then with the Aqua Control. For me, the explanation is, um, maybe I'm wrong, but that would be totally log uh, logic in my sense that the um, not so tight weaving sometimes gives your sensor a spot on the aqua control where where's nothing or where the, the sensor jumps m one more to the right on 1600 GPI for example because when I watch these both pads the white equate is a little bit wider and on the aqua control pl plus you can uh, see the, the rubber um, the sponge in between a little bit more, so you see a m m bit more of the black behind the white weaving. So, which gives me, f as I said already, I think that's because uh, of the l more or of the less fibers weaving on one square centimeter, where the sensor sometimes has a point where it's like jumps over or where it glides over, and that's why you lose the exact stop point you wanted to point out, or it's just um, like you glide a little bit more with your PTFE feeds or with your skates or whatever you have and cause it's um, cause of the loose of the, for example, of the um, tight texture, the glide is not um, very stable, linear stable, always the same. Which brings me to a point where I was enjoying the e a lot. 
Um, I played it also with the um, Razer Ohori V2 and I played it with the Origin 1X for example and I have to say with both uh, mouse which are very different in form, weight and type and I enjoyed it more to play the Equate because on Apex and on Tacticals there's a little bit more um, con there's a little bit more control feeling on it compared to the Echo Control. And this uh, gives you a way better feeling, way more secureness in my opinion. So basically you just have better feeling by micro corrections, micro adjustments and on general play behavior. Uh, even if you play um, a battle royale or a game where you need to track a lot like Overwatch or like you play um, Valorant or CS. In my opinion, the, the feeling, the overall feeling of the pad and performance on a, with, from a mouse on a different pad is better with the Equate. Because it's just, the, the reason basically for me is like it's more precise, more predictable and in overall it's, um, it's more like, it's more reliable. So the Aqua Control is super hyped, I know, you guys all love it. And I also, when I had it first, uh, I just ordered the white one because the black was okayish like and then I had this Odin gaming pad which was okayish too and then I just said ah, I want everybody says the white aqua control is the best I just want to check it and I realized okay the white aqua control is really good it's a little bit softer than the black one and for me the performance feels a little bit better but um, after some like I said after some playing I realized there is this the, the, this insecureness with this pad even if you play 400 DPI with a very low sense, like you play 250 to 280 DPI on Valorant, and there's still insecureness with, with it because you might, or at some point, or sometimes, you just swap over the point where you really want to stop. And it's not because, um, as I said, you're a bad player or the aiming is bad or something. It's, I think, really, it's because of, this, um, of the type, how the weaving is made and how uh, loose how loose the weaving is and that's why the Equate is in my opinion the better Aqua Control Plus it's basic, it's nearly the same glide it's nearly the same friction and speed I, I think it's, I don't know man maybe it's 1% less or 2% it's like not really 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 comparable in my opinion if you play it one, more, uh, one day after you play the Aqua Control you, re you will realize in every point that this pad is the better overall performer for you. If you enjoyed the Aqua Control Plus, but you think something more stable, more reliable, a, a, a pad which is basically um, maybe a little bit more control because you maybe want to you play more tacticals than everything else, I think the Equate is the better pad. And um, in general, there's nothing to complain about these Aqua Control stuff or about any x-ray pad they do a lot of great pads out there they have the tour which is nice they have uh, some other pads but which i i never would recommend you for example encoded equate i have a coated equate here <sighs> don't do it guys and also i wouldn't recommend you another coated pad from x-ray pad please if you do an x-ray pad stay with the uncoated um you will enjoy it more in my opinion that's the I know they don't have this exciting graphics and all the stuff, but um, they are also uncoated pet like the uncoated equate. Uncoated equate in Black Star. It basically feels really, really the same like the white. In my opinion, when I go over it with the finger, it's a little bit, a little bit rougher. But I think most of you won't even feel it. It's a little bit rougher, but. It's just black, it has a nice star design and you can get it also in very big. So basically, if you want a white equate, uh, a black equate, the black equate here is also fine guys. It's nearly the same like the white one. Um, so on this review, I just wanted to show you the comparison of these two pads because I think it's very important. I know there's a lot of hype for these Aqua Control Plus pads, uh, but I think it's not for everyone, it's not the best choice. For a lot of you people out there, it's, it's nuts, it's okay, it's okay -ish. But for people who maybe perform a level higher or want to set up their performance in general, from my ex-professional um, experience and from my like 
8 to 12 hours playing a day from my um, Ranked where I'm right now in Apex. Uh, it's week two of Ranked now in Apex Legends on, uh, in Europe. And I hit it master yesterday with 1179 points and I'm 36 years old. Uh, I can just tell you guys that these um, pets, where you're, which are more reliable, will give you a better feel for a, a long grind session and for like a grind session of two weeks or for four weeks when you, for example, go for top 750 on Apex for the pets. Um, it's more a more reliable pet, the Equate. And you will, um, on the longer term, I think, you will get a better overall feeling because um, when you get used to it, like after seven or ten days, I think you still can get uh, some more percentage out of your own performance because um, the secureness and the, the uh, freedom of mind which the pet will give you is uh, different to the aqua control, um, a better one because yes, the speed is a little bit less, but the, the ability to micro correct something of this pet is way better. So from my side guys, the winner here is the Equate, not the Aqua Control Plus. Maybe give it a try guys, if you are able to order both, order both and try them yourself. And um, for Germans or European people, I think at the end of by a 50 by 50 pet, you will be around 40 euro, depend on which country you live at. In Germany, it's like 41, 42 euro with tax and um, with the shipping uh, handling from DHL. In, in the States, guys, I don't know, I think you have a reseller over there or x Pet has a very good um, uh, agreement with the States or something like that, but I know you pay less than us, so maybe try both, guys. Even if you have both in Europe ordered, so you have both here in Germany, I'm pretty sure you will find one who will buy your Aqua Control Plus, which is like new. I, I'm not even in worry about that you will find one who wants it directly, because you always have to wait like two weeks to get it from X-Ray Pet uh, to Europe. So that's it from this comparison. As I said already, the Equate won. Um, don't matter if you play the white or the black. If you have any question guys or you want to know something about the pets or about other pets in general, type down in the comments, ask anything or visit me in my stream. I stream daily guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Goodbye.